Welcome back, watch fans, and thanks for watching another watch review from Todd's Watch Shop. Today, I'm doing another unboxing. I uh, just pulled the label off, but I'm pretty sure I know what this is because I know that these other ones... Nope, I know that these other ones with this tape comes from one particular vendor, and I have two like that, so this one is the only one not like that. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be my Citizen Eco Drive. Address. Uh, look at that. Man, I am excited for this watch. You guys will love this. This watch looks so nice. I am 100% keeping this one. Super excited. Look at this. This is the uh, uh, Costco Retail packaging not the super packaging that you normally get when you go buy from an authorized dealer uh, more the gray market or like the walmart sort of uh, costco but oh look at that that is nice man i like that this is a nice watch man look at that oh that looks so good oh i am excited I'm going to keep this one. Guys, this has the Eco Drive. This is spectacular. Oh, I love the way this looks. This looks like this looks like um a gauge in in a, a Black Hawk helicopter or something like that. Man, oh, love it. Love it, love it. 225. God, that's a deal. That's not what I paid. Man, this is great. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, let's just get the stuff out of here so I can see what it came with. All right, yeah, it's, geez. Okay, let's see, what is this? Interesting. It's got a chart. Oh, okay, you know, where do they always put this, do not eat? I mean, has everyone, anyone, like, opened this up and been like, man, I'm going to eat that. That looks good. White crystals that taste like, well, I don't know what they taste like, but I'm not going to guess. Okay. Oh, pretty, wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, man, is this connected to the internet? I hope not. Get that warranty card. Some card to tell me thank you. Sweet. Man, this is great. This is a great watch. All right. Before I get into any more detail, let's watch a video on, on Citizen.
All right, now that you had a chance to watch that video, uh, we'll get right into the watch. It was a little bit longer video than I was kind of hoping for, so I apologize for that. So we'll get right into this. Um, the look of this watch is spectacular. Uh, this is this is uh, this is a look definitely that somebody might be specifically looking for. It's not for everyone, uh, but it is a, a very handsome look. Um, it's very military looking. Sort of uh, this is essentially a field watch, is what this is. Uh, but it's the EcoDrive movement that really is what makes this such a great deal. So this watch uh, retailed for for two twenty five. Um, I got it. I got it for cheaper. I paid sixty five dollars. Uh, they they made a lot of them, so I was able to get it uh, gray market, which is okay. Um, it's just harder to get your warranty uh, worked if you need to, but that's all right. Um, I was pretty happy. Either way, uh, this is a spectacular watch for the deal. Um, Citizen has a bunch of watches that run in this price range, and you get a spectacular deal uh, for for this price. I mean, I, I really can't say that um, for for a lot of the other watch brands, you know, that you're paying for, where you're paying for the name. I mean, this is just an excellent all-around watch. Um, some quick things. Let's do some measurements really quick, so I can. Uh, uh, I want to have I want to show you guys a video of the movement like I always do, but it's also a long movement. It's also a long video, so I'll have that at the end. Um, okay, this is a 42 millimeter case. The lug width is 22. Uh, the size is about 11. We'll put that at 11. Um, and actually the. The leather band strap is also quite large, but that's okay. This is very common now. Most watches come with a much thicker band. I know I've shown them before. This is typically what you used to see in the 70s, <laughs> 70s, 60s, thin watch strap. Uh, this is an old watch <laughs> uh, from, this was an expensive Timex. This is one of the more expensive ones, but anyways, we'll get into that. Um, this is a, a very nice watch. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the what watch was it oh yeah the one that i got from uh from watch gang uh, i'll put a link up to that up at the upper right but i was actually very pleased um for a hundred dollar watch um i got a, a strap that was very similar to this but it's it's signed nice case back you can see all the information on there i got my serial number that's okay don't matter so much that's not a scratch that's just fingerprint i'm not wearing my gloves so it's no big deal um Japanese movement. Uh, let's check the loom because I want to get right into that. I, I think it's going to be pretty cool. That's nice. I like that. God, that is that is spectacular loom. This is a very nice dial. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. If you were ever actually doing something at night and needed it, this, this is perfect. Um, so one of the problems about the movement is if you don't use it for a while, it um, it will die. And so this watch, when uh, I don't know if you look back at the original video, and I will actually put a small small video up at the top. I'll move this so you can see it up at the top. But when I first opened the watch, it, it was it actually wasn't running initially, but then it immediately started with what was called a two second skip. Uh, it keeps perfect time, but it has no stored power. So the video that you're seeing in the upper right is essentially how it was for most of the night because the battery was completely dead. This watch sat on a shelf somewhere uh, in the gray market for probably a couple years. This watch, I think, debuted in 2014, so it sat for quite a while. Um, on fully charged, and I'll put that chart up um, also, when, when fully charged, it can last for up to six months. Uh, unfortunately... The watch was operating in the manner that you saw in the video simply because uh, it had no charge in the capacitor. It doesn't use a battery. Seiko typically calls those a capacitor because that's what it is. Um, but six months, it can survive in a closet without any additional light. But all it needs is pretty much uh, maybe a half an hour in the day uh, outside to, to fully charge it and make it last for, for six months. Um, spectacular watch. It is not a, it's not a screw down crown, but... Um, very nicely pointed. There is a gasket at the end, one in the shaft tube. Open it up, and you should you'll see some videos of the movement and everything inside. Um, not sure if you can see it, but I will put pictures 
you can just kind of make out the discoloration in the center. It looks a little bit more orangey. That is the solar cell. And uh, that's what's so spectacular about this because you don't really have to change that. But after 10 years, the capacitor starts being able to hold the charge. So this this is pretty much a service-free battery for, for seven years. Um, I love the PVD or PDV, I think it is, uh, coated case. It's It's spectacular. I mean, such a great watch. I want to keep this one, but I may also sell it just because I've got so many damn watches. I don't know what to do with them. But um, uh, I'll put a video up. I want you to see the, the the movement. And I will also show Citizen's video on how the EcoDrive system works. Because I think that's really important uh, when, when selecting these watches. The Citizen Chandler uses the Citizen E101 EcoDrive solar powered movement which is a high value, high quality, no jewel Japanese made movement. The E101 and E110 movement is produced by Citizen's Miyota Movement Manufacturing Branch in Japan. Miyota is a Japanese movement manufacturer that is part of the Citizen Group of Companies. The Citizen Group's movement brand, which is launched in 1959, now produces over 100 million calibers per year in its various factories. Most of them are quartz calibers. Saku in Nagano province is the group's largest facility and produces the majority of their movements. The Citizen Group is highly integrated since it's also a major player in the manufacture of machine tools and CNC's which supplies internationally. Even the oil used in the machines is a homemade product. This integration allows Citizen Group to support the highest standard of quality, able to quickly detect problems and defects on assembly lines. At regular intervals, an alarm sounds and components are discarded down a separate track. Although the E101 looks and acts like a quartz movement, it is not powered by a standard battery cell. The EcoDrive movement holds a capacitor, which Citizen refers to as a secondary battery. The purpose of this capacitor is to store electrical energy gained from the built-in solar array. When fully charged, the movement can continue to run for up to six months without additional charging. As you will see in Citizen's EcoDrive movement video, this technology provides spectacular value and longevity at a reasonable cost. EcoDrive draws power from a single source, light, any light, not only bright sunshine, but cloudy days or even artificial light. EcoDrive converts light into electrical energy, which is stored in a rechargeable power cell, driving the motor, the gears, and the hands. On a single full charge, a Citizen watch with EcoDrive can run for over six months, even if stored in the dark, resulting in never having to change your battery. Citizen EcoDrive, powered by light. I hope you guys appreciate the information I've been able to put together and along with the videos I was able to find uh, from, from Citizen. Uh, I truly believe that this watch line, specifically these uh, these line of field watches with the EcoDrive technology are spectacular value for the money. I really like them. I know I say every time that I'm going to keep every single one and occasionally some of them show up, but this is probably one that I'm going to as much as I want to sell it because I have so many. I mean, it's such a good style and such good quality watch. If I was going to be stuck on an island uh, for the rest of my life without um, civilization, this would be the watch I would take with me. Um, I hope, again, I hope you really enjoyed this video and uh, I would really appreciate a like and a follow. Uh, it really makes it worthwhile to me. I don't make any money doing this. Uh, it costs me quite a bit of money, but I enjoy it and I have fun doing it. And uh, it means a lot to me if uh, for your patronage. So... Leave a like and please subscribe. Thank you very much.